In this video, we're going to cover how to use, how to set up and apply agency-based fluid fonts inside of Oxygen. So to get started, we need to explain a little bit about modular type scales for those of you that haven't heard of that. Um, feel free to spend some time and search that up on Google. There's lots of great articles that explain that better than I'll be able to in this video. But the general idea is that based off of one root font size, you can define a set of consistent font sizes from that base unit. So in this case, I'm basing it off of my body text. So I'm calling that step zero. And then every consecutive font size up from there is a consistent spacing. In this case it starts at 1.25 so step 1 is going to be exactly 1.25 times larger than step 0. Step 2 is going to be exactly 1.25 times step 1 and so on and so forth down the line. So you get a, a modular type scale that gives you consistent sizing across your entire design. Of course, with fluid fonts, the whole point of this is that this is also fluidly responsive. So we're going to go through and test that a little bit here. But first of all, let's jump into the admin here just to show the settings and into the editor and talk a little bit about how we have that set up. So here is the plugin settings page for fluid fonts. And you can see we have our minimum viewport set up. 480 pixels, so at or below. Our root font size is going to be 10 pixels, and our type scale is 1.25. And then at or above 1120 pixels, our root font size is 12 pixels, and our type scale is 1.333. And so all that's saying is that once we get to 1120 pixels or above, these font steps are going to be times 1.333 instead of 1.25. So now, uh, step one, or, or H5 in this case, is exactly 1.333 times larger than our body text, and so on and so forth. This H4, which is based off the step two variable, is exactly 1.333 times step one. So that's the concept of the modular scales, and it, the step size changes fluidly also. So we're scaling from 1.25 times here at the smallest up to 1.33 times between each step at the largest. And of course, that's fluid in the middle. So seamlessly, no jumps, uh, no responsive sizing mess that you have to configure. All you have to do is set up the base font size here, you define it at the at the bottom end, at the smallest viewport, and at the largest viewport, and the plugin will handle generating the fluid font sizing for everything in between that. This setting here is simply the number of steps that you want to generate. So in this case, I put in five. You can also um, generate steps below the the base font size. So if you wanted say something to use for a disclaimer text or uh, um, yeah just in you could have a small text that you could use and it would actually be still fit into the same modular type scale but it would be smaller than the root font size you could do that here so in the oxygen editor you can see these settings, how they're set up under the fonts tab, and you can see the, the variables that are generated, and you can see the range. So step one is going to scale from 12.5 pixels up to 18.66, and so on down the line. You can see the, view, the viewport settings here, the min and max viewports. You can see that it's scaling from 10 up to 14. I need to refresh this. So it pulls in my new settings. Just like we set it up inside the admin plugin settings. 
we're at the minimum viewport, which is 480 pixels. We're starting out at 10 pixels font size. At the maximum viewport, at or above 1120 pixels, we're going to end up at 12 pixel font size. And these are the type scales, the ratios that we're using to generate the step sizes. So these are the resulting fluid variables and the range that they scale from. So 10 pixels to 12 pixels and so on down the line. So I have applied these variables to the page here, to the elements on the page, and I've labeled them accordingly. So body text, I've applied the step zero fluid variable to that. H5 gets step one, H4, step two, H3, step three, H2, step four, and apply the step five to that in my case. You can use the mapping tab to see exactly where these are applied. So in my case, I'm overriding the oxygen defaults. So if I don't have any other size applied here to this headline, um, all I have to do is leave this at H1 or set it to H2, and I'll be overriding the oxygen defaults here. This is just laid out like a like standard CSS, so you can easily see what's getting applied on the front end. And here you can see the body, the font size property is set to this fluid variable. Take a little closer look at this on the front end here. As you can see, I can drop this down a bit. This is scaling fluidly and it's maintaining the correct step ratios. And to verify that, let's just go ahead and inspect a few of these here. So we've now got our text block, just our body text. And if we come over here to the computed tab, you're going to, let's watch the, um, the font size here on this. So at our top end, we're maxing out at 12 pixels. You can see that the fluid variable is being applied and it's overriding the default oxygen settings coming from oxygen. And as we scale this down, you can see it's starting to scale fluidly and it should scale all the way down to 10 pixels and stop there. So once we get to our, we're below 480 now, 480 viewport pixel width. And if we scale farther, that's, a, that's the bottom end limit. So it will not scale below 10 pixels. Once again, it should fluidly scale all the way up to 12. Now, to illustrate the modular scale steps a little bit better here, let's take a look at our H5, which is the next in our step size. And let's just make sure we have the right one here. So we've got the H5. And let's scale this down to the smallest. So it looks like at our smallest viewport size, we're 12.5 pixels. This looks correct because we currently have it set to Twelve point five, it should scale up to sixteen pixels. And we're right there. Fifteen point nine nine six. So depending on what browser you're using, you might see a little bit different rounding. Um, some browsers treat that a little bit differently. Some round up, some round to uh, some round a little closer to the decimal point than Chrome does, I think. So keep that in mind. But what, what we're seeing here is normal, I believe, and it's right at 16 pixels, 15.996. So just to test this a little bit farther, let's bring up a calculator. And we don't need that to be full screen. And let's double check the math here. So at the bottom end on our H5, we should see 12.5 pixels. And let's bring this up and let's just make sure that 
Well, that's obviously correct because 10 times 1.25 is 12.5 pixels. So we're respecting our modular scale step there of 1.25 times the preceding variable. And now if we scale this up to the full width and we get 16 pixels, we should see that if we take our upper end base font size, which was 12 pixels, times our new fluid scale step at our upper breakpoint, we get 15.996. So that's working correctly. So hopefully that explains a little bit more about the modular scale font sizing concept. It It's a maybe a little bit different than what you were used to from the fluid fonts from version one of agency based but hopefully that makes sense um, it's just a, a clean simple way to quickly set up and change the and, and maintain a consistent font sizing the really neat thing about this is that we can quickly come in and change this now say we want this to scale from 12 pixels up to 16 pixels, save those settings, make sure our static CSS file gets saved, and now if we refresh this page, we're immediately going to have updated but still maintained a consistent design pattern here. So the font sizing is still respecting our modular scale of 1.25 or 1.333 at the upper end and we can easily change our entire font size just based off of one root font size.